Hey guys, welcome back to iCraft MC. In the last video, we make it made a tunnel through the nether from this place to where our new home is going to be. We've actually decided we're going to move because although this is a really nice place, there's not really a lot of room to expand in the long term uh, because the mesa biome is just kind of difficult to build in. And so we're going to keep these places as our summer homes. But yeah, I think we're going to move. So before I do anything though, um, I want to enchant a diamond pickaxe because Although I actually already have two enchanted diamond pickaxes, um, I was checking in the enchantment table, and if you want to know how to do that, you do that by just throwing a pickaxe and then seeing what the enchantment is. Fortune 3. And although I already have one Fortune 3 pickaxe, Fortune 3 is a very hard enchantment to get. And so um, I'm just going to build a, uh, or craft, I suppose, a diamond pickaxe and uh, see what I have on there. Probably enchant another thing too, just to get below the amount of levels. Oh, Fortune 2! Now that's funny, I wonder why they would give the iron pickaxe something better than the diamond pickaxe. Um, maybe I'll see what an iron sword would get instead, that's funny. Um, Bane of other pods, four, that's funny. Yeah, it's very interesting they would give the iron pickaxe something better than the diamond pickaxe. Hmm, alright, well let's see what else we can enchant, maybe this diamond hoe would give us something good? Uh, hoes are quite useful. Fortune two, yeah that's very interesting. Well. That's okay, I guess. For a hoe, that should be fine. Um, I don't think I want to waste a whole diamond pickaxe on Fortune 2, considering that I already have a much better... I already have a Fortune 3 pickaxe, so I'll just wait till that actually shows up. Yeah, that's funny. I've never really seen that before. Alright, Fortune 2, let's see. It's just Fortune 2? Okay, that's fine. I might just disenchant that later anyway. Alright, let's see what this pickaxe gives now. Efficiency 4. You know what? We should work down our levels anyway. Let's see what we got. Okay, <laughs> that is funny. We actually got fortune on the one that didn't show fortune, so efficiency 4 and breaking 3, fortune 3. Which uh, we actually did end up getting two fortune 3 pickaxes and a fortune 2 hoe, so that's pretty good for now. I think I'll just throw these in this chest for now, but we'll be getting them right back out because on this episode, uh, with my friends uh, Jonas, um, Jonas Marriott and Gemma Locus, uh Hey, what are you guys? Are you guys raiding the brewing stand? You getting... Food. I'll get out of there. <laughs> anyway, if you, you guys are going to be helping me uh, move. And um, yes, they're very willing, you can tell. And uh, so yeah, we'll be just basically moving all the items from these chests to where our new home will be today. And uh, yeah, so I think I'll start by just breaking down the stuff around here. Unfortunately, I don't have silk touch. If you want to just get stuff out of one of those chests, Jonas Marriott there. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to be getting that. It's actually pretty quick there. Yeah, so although I don't have silk touch... Um, I'll just have to craft this with some wood later, and it should be fine. You can see my budget flooring. I didn't end up putting, uh, any stuff behind there, and you heard that, that sharp noise was from them, uh, from them breaking the chests, so, yeah, I think we'll just grab all this, um, and yeah, I think, let's see what else to bring. I think I'll bring all the valuables in the first trip, just so that I'm sure that those are moved over, and yeah, you guys can take whatever there you want, uh, Looks like Jonas is working on the... Oh yeah, breaking that. Alright, uh, get the redstone, the coal. I think that's all I have room for, so I'll just head over. And you can see the cool tunnel that we made uh, uh, last episode. It's a really cool fast travel tunnel, so we can go from this place to the uh, our new home uh, very, very quickly. And... Um, yeah, so the first part of it isn't a tunnel. For the first part, we're just going to be uh, running through the nether with these, these blue uh, soul fire torches as the um, the marker to where we're going but uh, after that um, I built a nice uh, nether brick road <laughs> or not nether brick um, but rather nether um, just nether rack road um, and also be careful Gemma Locus and Jonas Merritt there are some skeletons here you want to run past those but uh, anyway yeah so it's quite quick because the soul sand is very slow slows you down a lot so we'll be just basically doing a lot of trips to and from moving all of our stuff over and uh, yeah so for the new place um, I was thinking we could do some kind of a lodge design. I'm not exactly sure, but I'll probably be collecting a lot of the supplies for that between episodes since um, you guys have already seen me collect a lot of things. For I'll collect some things on screen, of course, but yeah, just definitely not all of it since it should be quite a big building. You can see by this foliage here, um, our tunnel en actually ended up going through a um, crimson forest, and it'll also end up going through a warped forest, so yeah, hopefully... Um, We'll be able to explore those later. We haven't explored those yet, actually. But yeah, so once we get to the other end here, I just laid out a bunch of chests here, and this is where we'll be living uh, in our new place. 
and basically, uh, I don't think we're gonna have time to sort anything, so I'll just basically just be throwing everything uh, in the chest willy-nilly, and we'll probably sort that between episodes, so let's make sure I only have things I need on me. Uh, I guess like food, stuff like that, bow and arrow I'll keep just for those skeletons, and I better go back through um, and get rid of those skeletons, um, and uh, yeah, and then basically yeah, I'll just keep going to and from and uh, bringing things, and I'm very glad to have the help of Jonas, Marriott, and Gemma Locus, because I think they'll be able to be very, very helpful in bringing all these supplies to and from, since there's just so many of them to bring, really, and um, I'm just glad I'm not moving later instead of now, because we probably have double or triple the amount of things to bring over, and uh, there's definitely some things we'll keep there, like we're going to keep the snow farm there, we're going to keep the, uh, you know, most of our farms, we'll just get a small sampling of each to uh, rebuild, or at least, um, build again the farms in the other place. And I'm wondering where Jonas Marriott and Gemma Locus are, probably still collecting materials. Let's see if I can get rid of these skeletons. Yeah, there's uh, Jonas Marriott. Jonas, if you walk on this uh, nether brick path there, oh, I just fell off. It's going to be a little bit faster, and I hope I can get out of this safely. Careful of that skeleton there. I'm just going to get rid of that. Thankfully, it doesn't have any armor, so that's pretty easy to get rid of. And uh, yeah, there they go. Thank you very much, guys. And I'll just head off here. Hopefully, I'll meet them on the way back safe and sound, but uh, yeah, so most of these have things like building blocks, stuff like that. Of course, I'll keep my house up and uh, also have to bring, uh, probably I'll bring last but not least, our animals, so Spark and Fern and uh, Tim the donkey, of course. I talked to Tim and he told me that he definitely wanted to go to the new place because he thought the grass might be greener there, and um, yeah, I'm thinking we'll do that, and uh, uh, unfortunately, our snow farm snow golem said he wants to stay here, so uh, we'll probably build a new snow farm snow golem uh, in a new place, but uh, for now, we'll probably just, uh, yeah, just have a new farm there. Looks like there's a block here by accident. That's fine. All right, and yeah, there's Tim. Yeah, so it looks like Tim is enjoying some of the grass here anyway, but I'm sure he'll like his new grass better, so we'll start by getting some of the most valuable items first. I think that's always um, important. Um, this Wither Skeleton Skull, I'm still surprised I got that since I still don't even have a looting sword, but I think it was just, uh, very, very good chance. Let's see, I'll just bring uh, this instead of that first, and I'll probably go from most valuable items bringing to least valuable items, since there's things like maybe one piece of uh, terracotta, where I don't care too much if I remember to bring that or not, whereas things like, for instance, this Heart of the Sea, I want to be very sure that I bring that safe and sound, since that's a very rare and very important item, so probably just th head through here, and uh, yeah, to the nether again. And yeah, basically just um, hoping that we won't run into any more skeletons. It's unfortunate because it seems to me that a lot of skeletons actually spawn in that soul sand valley up there. A surprising number, really. I mean, almost every time I go through, through here, there's usually one or two of them, and there's usually one of them that has a good amount of armor on, so I always want to be careful to uh, avoid them. But... Uh, yeah, I'm thinking um, it'll probably be a lot easier to avoid them with this pathway here because it'll make us uh, a lot quicker because uh, we won't be slowed down by the soul sand. So, yeah, and just through here again is the tunnel. And, um, yeah, if you want to learn how to make a fast travel tunnel like this through the nether, then uh, you'll be able to. So, there is Jonas there. I think he was telling us something. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, yeah, and I, I just, uh, these blue fire torches here I decided to put because they scare away the... Um, the piglins, so it's a really good way to not only kind of mark where you're going because they're not something that actually occur naturally in the world, but it's also a really good way to scare away the piglins uh, where you may be. So yeah, we'll just go through here. All right, there's Gemma Locus, and we're just gonna throw our things in there. Hopefully, we can keep some semblance of order, but I, I kind of doubt it. It's just fine. We can always just resort later. That filled up perfectly. Perfect. All right, hey Gemma Locus. Hello. See you on the other side. Yeah, Gemma will probably be right behind us there. And yeah, that through we go. Alright, and eventually something I might do is upgrade this tunnel to a blue ice pathway, which basically means, well maybe not blue ice, some sort of ice, that once we have silk touch, something I want to do is, um, put this. also these are totally harmless Gemma, just so you know. Not sure how much Gemma knows about the nether, but yeah, those, those guys right there are quite harmless as long as you don't hit them. But, uh, yeah, so, um, hopefully, hopefully we won't find any more skeletons, but, uh, yeah, so I think we just have a little bit left to bring, just mostly building blocks, things like that. Um, I might bring either Tim or Spark and Fern with me, 
now. I'm not sure though. I want to be safe with them and uh, certainly would not be good if they got hurt at all in the nether. That wouldn't be good at all. So I'll definitely have to um, be careful with them. But you know, um, they have a good amount of health. So I don't really think the only thing they could really get hurt from is lava. So it's more so the dogs that would be somewhat in danger. But uh, I don't think it would be too bad. So yes, and I talked to, to the dogs too. They said that although they love their summer dog house, they said that a uh, Oh, it looks like it's bedtime here. If you want to just stay in the nether there, Gemma. Um, I'm just going to run into bed. And, uh, yeah, if you go to bed there, Jonas, and you stay in the nether, Gemma, we should be good uh, to go to sleep here. So, uh, Yeah, it looks like on the clock it's just about bedtime. So we'll just head off to bed. And uh, we're inside the house anyway, so if we don't get to bed right away, it should be okay. Uh, yeah, if you don't have a bed there, uh, Jonas, it should be fine. Um, should you have a bed? I'm not actually sure if you're here or not. Uh, not sure. I'll try going to bed one more time, but if not, we can always just uh, be careful. Oh yeah, there we go. To bed. Thank you. Uh, not to bed. Uh, wake. Thank you very much there, Jonas. All right, so we're just going to... Yeah, we're almost... Um, honestly, almost done. I think we'll just have to... I think I'll start by getting the... Um, all these bone-type idea things. Uh, bone-type idea. All these uh, bone-type uh, things. So, uh, about over a stack of bone blocks, things like that. I hear an enderman. I hear an Enderman, and I will never shy away from an Enderman at this point because I actually need one. Oh, here's a zombie. Get out of here, stupid zombie. Oh, yeah, you want to get that? Okay. Let's see if I can get this Enderman, actually. Because we're all fighting mobs. I wonder where he went. Oh, he's inside. You, you can't go inside my house. Bad Enderman. Bad Enderman. Oh, goodness. He's a very bad Enderman. He might kill me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That was close. He nearly killed me. Yeah, I probably should have been a little bit safer with that Enderman, but... Oh, and I hear a Creeper. You okay there, Jonas? Oh, dear. Well, uh, thankfully, um, I can pick up Jonas's things because I don't have much on me, but, uh, yeah, you can always come back here, Jonas. Uh, don't worry about that Creeper Blast too much. Uh, should be fine. Um, thankfully, uh, I think we'll probably not... That'll probably not be the last Creeper Blast we'll encounter, so I'll just throw some of these items in a chest for now, and, uh, things like that always happen, of course, so I'll just throw this uh, throw this back in here uh, there's not really anything in here so you should be able to just throw this in here and um, yeah, I'm not sure where you uh, your last spawn point was there oh perfect Jonas is back already yeah if you just uh, grab the rest of your stuff around here Jonas um, I put the rest of it in the I'll show you actually what chest I put in there Jonas if you come over here uh, if you want to maybe repair that there Jim if you have any blocks on you uh, if you come in here uh, Jonas, there is, um, the rest of your items are in the chest over here, so, um, there's some items in there that are also not yours, I guess none of these are really yours, since these are all just items we're traveling back and forth, but if you, if you come in here, um, the items that are yours are, uh, in this chest, so, yeah, it's in this first chest here, if you want to grab whatever is in there, I'll just, I think I'll take a, a tool load this time, take all these unstackable tools, things like that, and, uh, what else, I guess I could bring, uh, these baked potatoes, it should be good to have a lot of food on us. Actually, I'll just throw you a bit of food there, Jonas, and uh, next time I find Gemma, I'll throw her some food too, just to make sure that we're all able to be well fed. Yeah, there's uh, Gemma. Thank you, Gemma, and I'll just throw you some food there. Hopefully you have some room for it. Uh, looks like you do. Yes? Yes, perfect. Alright, I'm just gonna head back here. Hopefully we won't run into any more creepers. And uh, yeah, I'll head back through. And I wish I could bring all these different horses and things, but because I haven't tamed them, I'm not sure that uh, they would like much to be uh, moved from their original home. So they'll probably be uh, horses that'll stay here near our summer home. But uh, yeah, that Tim definitely told me that he wanted to uh, to move, and I'm sure that the uh, the dogs will too, since they'll have a lot more uh, animals to bark at in their uh, the new place. And I'm going the wrong way, of course. I'll have to go um, on this tunnel again. It's funny, or not tunnel, this pathway. But, uh, yeah, I'm thinking there's also a big, a lot of forest around, um, where I'm thinking of building our new house, so I'll probably cut down a lot of that between episodes two, and then, uh, yeah, we'll just be able to, um, build the house right off, and, uh, yeah, I'm just thinking of a design with a lot of, uh, oak wood, spruce wood, and diorite, uh, polished diorite, that is, and so hopefully, um, we'll be able to get that, uh, put up, uh, next week, and, uh, I'll just see what else we have to do here. But, um, yeah, I'll probably just work on sorting all these uh, different items, things we got between episodes, too, because uh, there's actually a lot of items I think we'll be having to sort 
and uh, I think uh, Gemma and Jonas uh, will have to start uh, working on their new houses too, but uh, I was talking to them and they said that they uh, already have some good ideas of what to do, so just uh, throw these in here. I think that's the viables. Here we go. I'll just throw all this in here, and uh, yeah, I find it's always good to keep your hotbar with the tools that you need, and then everything in your inventory, the things that you're moving back and forth if you are moving items, because then you know what items that you're meaning to move and what items that you want to keep on your inventory. And I'm also really glad we got that one ender pearl, because although one ender pearl may not feel uh, seem like a lot, uh, it is quite a bit when you're uh, first trying to get ender pearls to go to the end. So hopefully we can eventually get the remaining about 10 more ender pearls we're going to need. So hopefully we can get those eventually. And uh, here's Gemalakas. Hello, Gemalakas. And uh, yeah, and here's a skeleton that was going after Gem. I think I'm going to kill it just for that. How dare it. Get rid of this. There we go. Sounds like there's another one. I'll just get rid of you too. How dare you. I'm going to get you with a bow. So I hope I can get it. Um, see if I can get you. There we go. Perfect. I'm just going to get some food and regen. All right. And we'll just get what's left. And I think there's not much left. So I'll probably uh, get Spark, Fern, and Tim and see... I think there's just a little bit left, probably just a few more building blocks, things like that, and we should be uh, fully moved over. And, um, yeah, I'm thinking we'll probably set up a new mine, a new farms, you know, uh, just all the things that we had in our summer home we'll get in our new home, too. And, uh, yeah, just kind of set that all up. So, yeah, another again, we'll probably also head back quite a few times to uh, do things like mining, um, you know, terracotta at the Mesa Biome, maybe doing some exploring more of the Mesa Biome mine shafts, um, you know, mining gold at the Mesa Biome. So there's definitely lots more uh, opportunity and things to do at the uh, this place still. And I'll probably fix the rest of this up between episodes. But uh, yeah, we'll just head through here and um, see what we have here left. Okay, just a little bit. There's that Ender Pearl. I'm not sure if I forgot that or not. Um, that's empty, and this is not empty, so it should be few more trips. I'll probably let Gemma Locus and Jonas Marriott take that, and I'll probably just take the rest of uh, this, which is our um, bone meal machine. Take the bone meal machine. Um, I'll leave most of the kitchen. I'm just going to take the brewing supplies. That might fill up my inventory. Yeah, it did. If I just drink these water bottles, um, that should shrink our inventory by quite a bit, because uh, water bottles don't stack. Whereas some of the other items do. Another thing I might do, yeah, I'll just keep those there. Um, it looks like we've got some fire resistance. Another thing I might do, if I can, can, can I pick this all up? No, I can't. I think I'll just throw some of my items in uh, Tim's inventory here, because uh, Tim as a donkey can actually uh, uh, bring items back and forth for us. So, yeah, we'll just throw some things on him, and then we'll get back on him in a second here. I'll probably bring Tim first, and then we'll finish off with Spark and Fern. Grab the cauldron. Uh, the rest of this can stay, I think and uh, see if there's anything else. I think there's a few items over here near the snow farm. I think I had a chest with some things. And I'll probably also make sure on our, my last trip to uh, to bring, let's see, uh, to just bring some sam sam uh, samples or samplings of all these different crops. Uh, actually, I might just do that now. Just need a, a bit of potatoes. Maybe I'll try and get a stack. Uh, let's see, that's 42. A stack should be plenty to uh, start up a new farm with. There we go, that's over a stack. I'll just plant the remainder so we're not um, running out of room. Uh, I guess I'll get a stack of wheat seeds, stuff like that. Uh, let's see, uh, we're probably almost to the stack. 50. Let's see, get a few more. Uh, 60. 64. Perfect. All right, we'll get that. And then uh, I guess we can get a few pumpkins, get some of those, get um, probably I'll harvest all the nether wart and then just replant it all too because I, I do definitely want quite a bit of. Uh, nether wart, but I'd also like to keep the nether wart farm here since I'm sure it'll come in handy. Something that's nice about having farms in multiple places too is that let's say for some reason or another, uh, like like maybe my nether wart farm in our new place gets exploded by a creeper, I can always come back here for a sampling instead of having to find a new nether fortress. So that's always a good thing I found to do. And I'll just get a sampling of these carrots. Let's see, we got about 32 carrots now. Let's try and get a full stack. All right, that's about 53. And uh, 64, that's over 64. That's exactly 64, perfect. All right, and uh, yeah, of course, sugar cane, I guess we can get some of that. Um, cactuses, we can probably get some of that. And that should probably fill up my inventory then. So I'll just grab a bit of that, grab a few cactuses, I think. 
probably start a cactus farm. Uh, I'll probably not replant all these since we have a quite a big cactus farm here already. I'll probably just break these two and that should be good sampling. And I'll bring Spark and Fern on my last trip over. I'll just quickly get some of the sugar cane, I think. And uh, yeah, that should be enough for all the plant samplings, I think. I'm not, I don't think we had beetroots going. Maybe we did. I'll have to check it out in a second here. Or we might have had some beetroot seeds anyway. Okay, that's enough sugar cane. And uh, yeah, I'll just head off with this um, with on Tim. And then I'll come back one more time with uh, all the other things. So I think Tim uh, will head, take you off. I think that hee-haw was somewhat of an agreeing. And uh, yeah, it looks like it's almost getting to be bedtime. But that's good because I'll be going right into the nether portal. And uh, yeah, see what Tim likes. So I think to get a mob through the nether, I think what I have to do is I have to get him in the portal. Oh, like that. Yeah, and I think I have to actually get off. Yes, and then he goes through, and then I get on, and thankfully I don't think there's any mob that'll be hostile to him, so he should be safe. There we go. Look, there's a lot of piglins here. I'm not sure why. Good thing I'm still wearing gold armor. Yeah, there's a huge amount of piglins. That's very strange. Anyway, as long as I'm careful here, Tim should be fine, and uh, he's a pretty nimble, uh, nimble donkey. I think he should be able to uh, make it through here quite safely, so we'll just head up here, over here. And uh, yeah, I think the tunnel should be high enough for him, but if not, I can always mine it a bit taller. And uh, there's a ghast right there. And I think it did just notice me, so I'm just gonna head right into this tunnel and then it shouldn't uh, notice me anymore. So uh, I'll just keep heading this way. And uh, yeah, let's see, almost down. Uh, good thing that gas didn't see us. I'm glad we have this tunnel. And I hope this donkey can make it up here, Tim. Can you make it up? Uh, almost. Looks like I just have to mine this block and this block. Go up here. Oh, it looks like I have to mine this block and this block. Alright, okay, okay. I have to get out of there before I get hurt. Okay. Well, maybe that tunnel could use a little bit of heightening, but for now that's fine. I'll get Tim through here and uh, eat a carrot there. Hopefully uh, it should be morning when I come back, I'm hoping. Uh, oh, there you go. And, oh boy, lag. Alright, here I am. And, here we are. Well, I'm probably going to do the rest of the moving between videos. I don't want a, too much of a video of just moving, but yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed that, and uh, we've been joined by Gemma Locus, and I think Jonas is somewhere here too. And uh, yeah, I'm glad. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I really hope you did, and if you did, make sure to like the video, and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. See you in the next video. Goodbye!